Hi everyone, I am Wafa Langa and welcome you all in Grammar in Detail. Today we have got a topic how to change the modal auxiliary verbs from active voice into passive voice. So we will be discussing the modal auxiliary verbs one by one and little bit we will discuss actually what modal auxiliary verbs are then we will start changing them into passive voice. So let's discuss what modal auxiliary verbs are. You know modal auxiliary verbs. These these are the verbs these are one of the kinds of verb like we have got verb verb has got 20 plus kinds one of them is known as modal auxiliary verbs modal auxiliary verb is the sub kind of you know the auxiliary verbs and auxiliary verbs having some three to four kinds one of them is called modal auxiliary verbs now what are the modal auxiliary verbs let's discuss the definition of modal auxiliary verbs modal auxiliary verbs now the definition must ought to should can, could, may, might, will, shall, would and used to are called modal auxiliary verbs. You know all I have written in white but one of them I have written in blue, uh, that in uh, yellow that in order to make you understand that you know I have got an argument I have been studying it for a long time and I have been in search of in order to confirm that whether used to is a modal auxiliary verb or Modal auxiliary verb or it is a structure. So this is what you know. This we will discuss when we come to the last one that is known as 11th one. That we will discuss at the end. You know that argument we will be having at the end. But today we have got the first modal auxiliary verb that is known as must. We will discuss it here and we will be having it how to change it from active voice into so I have given it in red that in order to say you people we are going to start must how to change it from active voice into passive voice you know before starting it into passive voice let us little bit discuss about the notes I have written two notes over here keep in your mind we will learn the detail of modal auxiliary verbs in parts of speech there we will discuss every single topic about modal auxiliary verbs in this uh, in detail in parts of speech and another note i'll tell you you know this i'll be a little bit be explaining for you people modal auxiliary verbs are studied in two categories you know you will be studying them into two categories one is called the secondary level and one is called the primary level what do we mean by secondary level here we will learn the percentage or possibility of a modal auxiliary verb you keep in your mind here we will be discussing the possibility like we have written the first one here we are learning the possibility of modal auxiliary verb must clear now the second important point that is known as primary level here we will learn the usages of modal auxiliary verbs here the first one i'll make you understand that here we use it or here we will learn about the possibility or percentage of the modal auxiliary verb but primary level we will be learning when we will start the uh, usages of uh, learning the usages of modal auxiliary verb must must has got some eight to nine you know some of the usages that we will discuss when we talk about the usages of modal auxiliary verb that is known as the primary level and when we talk about the possibility the percentage the power of any modal auxiliary verb that is called secondary level and one thing let me clear you know these i have given in order to make you understand the percentages i have written you will never find them any book i have just written them that to make you understand that you know which one has got the uh, uh, which uh, percentage or the possibility so secondary level how we are going to change them from active voice into passive voice let us discuss today we have got the first modal auxiliary verb must we use must when you have got fully authority or any work that is an obligation to you you need to do it if you don't do it you will face a lot of faces or you may not be forgiven yes anyhow in any case you can say it but we use it for the authority and here we are learning it as you know the second secondary level that you know it is used for 100 percent works and now let's begin the model auxiliary verb must from active voice into passive voice now the first model auxiliary verb we have that is known as model auxiliary verb must must we are going to change from active voice into passive voice you know there are five kinds of sentences you will be changing the modal auxiliary verb must the first one is known as simple sentences what are simple sentences keep in your mind simple sentences are those sentences which make simple statement 
are known as simple sentences for making the simple sentences of model auxiliary verb must we have a formula that is known as subject plus model auxiliary verb must bear infinitive and then object and full stop what is bear infinitive you know bear infinitive is one of the kinds of infinitives what are infinitives when a verb doesn't work as a verb in a sentence it works as a noun in a sentence or as an adjective or as an adverb in a sentence is called model uh, that uh, uh, bear infinitive now most of the students they write over here first form no doubt it is first form of the verb but keep in your mind it is first form of the verb but it is not working as first form of the verb you know over there just we are talking about an action we are not doing if i say he must learn english he is not learning we are saying that that is an ob an, an obligation to him and he has to do it 100% why because you know if he doesn't do it then he will face a lot of problems while doing this action you know if you don't learn english then definitely everything is in english and you must learn because most of the world uh, majority of the people in the world they speak in english so why not to learn this and we say that it is 100% necessary for an individual to learn english somehow i say you must offer your prayers no compromise you know here you need to not miss it even you are in condition of fighting you are in condition of you know uh, having a lot of illness you can't walk even by the indication you have to but you must do this action you know there is no compromise while missing prayers somehow the model auxiliary verb must we have got then bare infinitive we keep in your mind we use bare infinitives after model auxiliary verbs after model auxiliary verbs you will always use bare infinitive bare infinitive means only first form of the verb and in the same way you know we will be discussing about the model auxiliary verbs in different sequences now we have got the simple sentences i say he must learn english formula for that is you know subject model auxiliary verb must and then be you know must be plus third form you know subject model auxiliary verb third form be plus third form and then by agent and full stop and last word will not be called ob uh, uh, object that will be called agent the one who does the work in action in, uh, like example he must learn english english must be learned by him you must offer your prayers your prayers must be offered by you now we have got the second one that is known as negative sentences what are negative sentences those sentences in which we deny the statement reject the statement or refuse the statement are called negative sentences for making negative sentences after model auxiliary verb and before the bare infinitive you will be using not like he must not learn english english must not be learned by him you must not miss your prayers your prayers must not be missed by you it is an obligation you know you can't ask someone or you cannot ask someone denying this like if i have not made the sentence like you must not offer your prayers you know that is what you are stopping someone and you must not offer your prayers definitely this is the 100% you know uh, effort of the satan or the devil that in order to stop or prohibit someone doing this action somehow while making the interrogative sentences what are the interrogative sentences those sentences in which we ask question or put queries must he learn english is that necessary that he should learn english a question is being put and in passive must english be learned by him and must you offer your prayers must your prayers be offered by you a person who does not know so you'll be putting this question clear in order to confirm or make it sure next we have got the formal sentences what are the complete name of formal sentences interrogative negative formal sentences what are formal sentences those sentences in which we ask question deny the statement and we ask them in a polite way respective way we use it with our elders must he not learn english must english not be learned by him must you not offer your prayers must your prayers not be offered by you so these are the formal sentences last we have got the informal sentences you know what are informal sentences those sentences in which we ask question deny the statement and we ask them in a informal way we use it in a friendly atmosphere or we use it with our 
you know uh, uh, juniors youngers or in a friendly atmosphere with the friends like i say must not when come together you know must and not come together there you'll be you're changing it into short form that will be mustn't you will not call it mustn't that will be mustn't and mustn't you learn english mustn't english be learned by you uh, by m and last we have got mustn't you offer your prayers mustn't your prayers be offered by you so these are the sentences of modal auxiliary verbs from active voice into passive voice you know modal auxiliary verb plus b plus third form is the passive uh, passive voice formula for the all modal auxiliary verbs so we will be changing the sentences in this way now you know we don't have time but we will just try to go for the practice main thing is practice you know if you want to say that you know i should have the practice and these all formulas should not be forgotten by me so you need to keep practice you know for the model auxiliary verbs we'll be selecting verbs like you know verbs actions which are necessary for our, us uh, like struggle i say you must uh, struggle uh, for css or something like clear or we'll take another verb you know that may a little bit create problem we will have a verb like you know action we will be doing like in which object is affected and then you bring it at the place of agent so that will be called uh, a sentence like i say obey you must obey your parents your parents must be obeyed by you your parents must not be obeyed by you must your parents be obeyed by you must your parents not be obeyed by you mustn't your parents be obeyed by you in this way you'll be changing them from active voice into passive voice hope you got today's lecture wish you best of luck see you next time with the next model auxiliary verb goodbye